Hi, this is Mrs. Casanelli, and today we're in Photoshop again, and we're going to combine these two images and mask part of this camera image right here so we can see this James Bond looking guy through, through the camera lens. So first we're going to start over here with this James Bond, and we are going to drag this image on top of this layer. Notice there it is under that layer, and we are done with this image now, so we can get rid of it. Over here in the adjust uh, in the layers, we have to double click on this lock icon to unlock that layer so that I'm able to drag it on top of the, the other James Bond layer. What we are going to do is we're going to move over here to where the, all the different shape marquees are. And this time I'm going to choose an elliptical marquee because I want a round a round um, marquee. So I'm going to just drag and draw a circle here. Don't worry if you don't get it exactly right. Use your up and down arrows to move it into the right placement. So using our mask feature, remember you want to be clicked on the layer over here in the layers panel and come down here where it adds a mask layer. Now if you mask right now, what will happen, let me show you, it will mask everything else and leave the circle, and that's not what we wanted to do. So do a Command Z and undo. What we want to do instead is come up here to go to Select and choose the inverse. So what it's doing, it's leaving everything else and going to just mask the middle part. So now when you choose the mask, it puts, you can see, it's putting a black circle, and when you put black on a mask, that makes it transparent so that the image below can be seen through. So now, I can see part of the man, but I can't really see him holding the gun, so I'm going to click on that layer, and make sure your show transform controls is checked so you can see the edges of this man this james bond looking and i'm going to just resize him and move him around until i can get the position of where i want him once you've resized an image remember you have to confirm the placement by either checking this box or just hitting return on your keyboard so now i have a layer that has a mask on it with a transparent and through that you can see behind is my james bond looking guy and when i'm done with this image i can save it as a psd a photoshop document file and then do a save as and flatten it as a JPEG. And now another example of how you can use a mask to combine two images together.